So I film with my mobile phone and because of that, I have to manually blow my video background and give it depth like what you're seeing right now. In this video, I'm about to show you guys two ways in which I do that. This is the original video. And of course, this is one I have worked on. Now, if you think this looks better, then please keep on watching. So I'll be using CapCut. If you've been following me, you know that I like to edit my YouTube videos on CapCut. Now the first way I'm going to show you, it's a bit common and I call it the hard way because honestly, there are simpler ways to do this like I'll show you later. So open CapCut, new project and import the video you have already edited. I advise you edit the video you want to post first before you work on the background. It's just easier and less messy that way. So bring in your video, go here to effect video effect then scroll and look for lens scroll down until you find blur click on blur and once it downloads it is going to appear on your timeline so this blurs the entire video including your face and then click on it again to adjust the blurriness of it or the intensity oh my god did i just say blurriness the intensity of it to you know your liking once you're satisfied with how blurry it is drag the blur effect to fill up to reach the length of your video you know the length of the video you want to blur and that's it then once that's done go back Click on overlay, now import the same video exactly, the same video you worked on, bring it back as an overlay and you know drag it to fill up the screen like your original video. Once you do that, go down and look for remove background, auto remove background. Now you wait until it is done removing your background. And once that is done, this is it. We now have our blood background. Well, technically it's two videos. We just blurred one, but who's going to know, right? Anyway, this is it for the first step or the first way to do this. For the easier way to do this, import the video you want to work on. After editing it, of course, like I said before, bring it into onto your timeline, then come down to effect, video effects, look for lens, then dynamic blur is just like the third one click on it and adjust it to your liking and um that's it yes that is it this is so simple i wonder why they don't talk about it a lot on youtube but that is why i'm here i'm here to make things so much more easier for us all you know as new creators so please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed so once you're done just export your video and you're good and that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel thank you once again for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one